The last several weeks, the headlines have been dominated by the Gulf oil spill disaster. What yeah. are your impressions of that? Oh, it's just a catastrophe. It is. Uh uh, it's so sad what's happening down there, uh, what it's done to the people of that state, of the states there, what it's done to the environment. It's just a, just a disaster. The last time you were on this program, it was about 10 days after the disaster happened. And we knew it was bad, but I don't think we got the full scope no. of how bad it was at that time. No. And I asked you then um, what you thought about offshore oil drilling for Oregon. I want mm -hmm. to play your comment. Okay. Would you favor offshore oil drilling off the coast of Oregon? Well, I, I'd favor, let's be open to all alternatives. I don't, uh, right now it's not on the table and it's not something that we're readily looking at, but should we look at it some point down the road? Possibly. So you'd be open to the I'm idea? I'm open to it, yeah. So it's six weeks down the road, and one-third of all federal fishing lands are closed now because mm -hmm. of the Gulf disaster, and it looks like it won't be completely stopped until late August mm -hmm. at the earliest. They haven't been able to figure out how to stop it. Are you still open to offshore oil drilling off the coast of Oregon? Well, open in that I don't, there's not a public appetite for it. It's something that is not going to happen anytime soon. I'm not something, I'm certainly not pushing, and I think it's something that's, uh, uh, that what has been shown in the Gulf is that if you do uh, offshore drilling, you really have to have the necessary precautions in place, and it's uh, something that can be uh, rewarding but incredibly risky as well, and so it's certainly not something I'm, I'm pushing. The government thought the BP knew how to fix it and had some redundancies, but apparently does not. So how are you, can you be sure ever that there are the safety precautions in place? Well, I think uh, in other countries, other places uh, have put those necessary precautions in place. And obviously, I think there are ways to do so. Um, but I think I said last time I was on here as well that the Northwest is an extremely difficult place um, to drill offshore. And I don't necessarily think it's going to be, it's not something that's going to happen here anytime soon. Our senators and senators from California and Washington were trying to get a ban on offshore oil drilling. They weren't able to because of the senator from Alaska. Would you support a ban on offshore oil well, drilling? Well, and that's kind of, I, I think that we... I don't know why you would say necessarily that it's, a, it's banned forever. And it's because that's, to me, is, it, it gets changed later. You can always change it later. And I think it, right now, you just say, what well, it's not something we're doing now. And it's, I, I don't know how, why you have to go that much further than that. But just say something that's, frankly, is not, it's, nothing is being proposed. And there's nothing, I don't see anything being proposed in the near term. And, it's not going to happen. What about LNG, liquefied natural gas? One plan's off the table. There's still a possibility of another one. Any concerns about any disasters and accidents at the mouth of the Columbia when we see what happened with BP and this oil disaster? Well, you're always going to have concerns. And just as you ask, have concerns from ships that are bringing uh, gas here and bringing other supplies here, there's concerns in a lot of different facets of our life. And, and whatever we put into place have to go through the necessary precautions, both federally and, and statewide. If